so uh, in this regard i must tell you that the the part where we were talking about the engine and uh, efficiency so on and so forth beautiful thing came after that in the uh, in the next uh, next uh, next uh, era is that the entropy it was a beautiful uh, beautiful uh, concept entropy which basically told that that told that that in which direction really really the reaction should flow and what is happening for the universe i said at the beginning of my lecture of thermodynamics that is entropy is maximizing for the universe therefore all kinds of abnormalities in the society also happen and also we face across now yes so what is the term we are talking about right now going to be is called entropy which is basically a governing governing force entropy which basically tells us the truth that in which direction the reaction should happen and uh, s is basically we call the entropy now what is the nature of s entropy basically what is entropy entropy is basically for the primary i must tell entropy is a state function entropy is a state function and a state function state function it can be function of pressure volume and temperature it can be pressure volume and temperature number 3 for the integral for the whole process for the cyclic process ds should be equal to zero since it is a cyclic process number 4 it is basically extensive property extensive property and definition is basically and the definition is basically dq that is ds is equal to dq reversible by t so i'll come uh, with this particular dq reversible by t concept but before that i must tell say s is a state function and also perfect differential and also it is a perfect differential perfect differential perfect differential perfect differential perfect differential and s is function of pressure volume and temperature for gases whole process ds equal to zero integration and it is extensive property and is ds equal to dq reversible by t this is the definition of the change in entropy again we will be knowing that absolute entropy can't be found out so ds equal to the change in entropy is dq reversible the z taken reversibly at particular temperature ratio of this is basically ds now where from we are getting the concept of the entropy is basically it is very interesting is again i said that first law is the mother of science mother of thermodynamics if you say first law first law what first law stated is that that del u or del u equal to q plus w it's stated like this so let's say for a certain change let's say du equal to let's say dq plus dw now over here du equal to what is basically we can write that du equal to dq plus dw now over here du equal to ncv dt and over here dq equal to dq and then dw equal to minus p internal into dv as we know that is p external will convert to p internal so does this now we can write dq is equal to ncv dt plus it is basically p internal into dv now we can change since we consider the gas is ideal so dq equal to we can write ncv dt plus since it is a ga ideal gas so we can write nrt by v dv now just look at over here if you divide that dq term by t then you get ncv dt by t that means dt by t that means is basically dl and t and it is basically nr dv by v it is basically dl and v so you can say that dq by t also you can say equal to ncv dl and t dl and t plus nr d ln v so now try to understand that over here in the right hand side if you look at the right hand side this is integrable we can integrate right hand side so if right hand side is integrable so left hand side must be integrable so therefore we can now able to integrate this so now new term dq by t will define as ds so we are saying that dq by t should be given a new term is called ds for example dq is basically basically the path function but path by path by but it is not a state function so it can't be integrable so therefore dq by t but is a the ratio of dq and t is basically is a state function called ds so now ds we can write over here that is dq reversible of course it is dq reversible since we are talking about p internal plus minus dp internal dv the process is reversible so in that case dq by t this dq is basically reversible i must tell it is reversible it is reversible it is reversible it is reversible it is also reversible it is also reversible and it is also reversible so therefore dq reversible by t is basically ds and that is the 
final form or final understanding of the ds so change in entropy is nothing but heat taken at particular temperature and the ratio of the heat taken by the temperature of that particular moment so therefore dq by t equal ds so now if we go on for the idle gas equation so we can say that using idle gas equation we can say integration shows that it is ds that is equal to dq by t is ds that is ds that is equal to integration equal to ncv equal to ncv and uh, is your uh, dlnt dlnt and uh, nr nr dlnv nr dlnv if you go for integration of this whole processes then you can get s equal to some constant plus ncv lnt plus nr lnv so this is the basic equation we get where s is the integration constant this is basically integration constant integration constant so now our concern is that if system changes from v t1 t2 t1 v1 to t2 v2 what will happen in that case since i said s is a function of p v t all so i can say delta s will be equal to n c v ln t2 by t1 and plus n r ln n r ln v2 by v1 by this so if i say t1 equal to t2 then we can say delta s will be equal to n r ln v2 by v1 or equal to you can write n r ln p1 by p2 very very important conclusions very very important conclusions next if we talk about v1 equal to v2 then it will be ncv ln t2 by t1 if i say v1 equal to v2 then we can write delta s is equal to ncv ln t2 by t1 so this is another important process next if we talk about let's say it is happening at constant pressure so then in that case i can't take cp in the equation so which from which the equation the, the concept the i mean the question may come in the in the difficult or uh, even the school curriculum also you should think of that if it is constant pressure process we can't have to find out the change of s we can't have cp over here so in that case we have to change modify this equation as s equal to s0 this equation can be changed like this s0 plus n it is cp minus r cp minus r ln t plus nr ln v nr ln v the basic equation a is now changed to over here because cp minus cv equal to r we know so obviously we can write that is s0 plus n cp ln t minus plus nr ln v n ln v by t of course and it is like this nr ln v by t nr ln v by t nr ln nr ln v by t so now we know that you can write s0 plus ncp ln t plus of course pv equal to nrt so pv equal to nrt means uh, v by t equal to nr by p so i can write minor nr or you can write directly nr one step more nr ln and is v by t is equal to nr by p nr by p we know in our constant so we can write s0 dash i can take over here plus ncp ln t ncp ln t plus minus in our ln p so this is the basic equation we get with the cp taking cp in the equation s0 dash is the new constant over here now if the change happens from p1 at p1 and 2 p1 equal to p2 if p1 if p1 equal to p2 then we can write the delta s equal to ncp ln t2 by t1 so this is very very important to us that when pressure is constant then this is very very important when pressure is constant and delta s change in entropy of the system will be ncp ln t2 by t1 so this way we can conclude that change in entropy we can find out and we what is the definition of entropy that entropy is nothing but dq reversible by t that is any time heat taken at particular temperature the ratio of that in kelvin temperature should be in kelvin ratio of heat to the temperature in kelvin is basically change in entropy